and welcome to the Thoroughgood Associates video on predictive analytics using R integration in Tableau 8.1. My name is Mayor Newton and I am a business intelligence consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau. The release of Tableau 8.1 included capability for connecting Tableau to R for performing complex statistical analysis right within Tableau. Today, we'll focus on predictive analytics, specifically multivariate regression. For information on getting started with R, or for examples of other use cases, please check out the other videos in this series. In this video, I'll explain how R can be used in conjunction with Tableau to expand upon the native regression capability that's present in Tableau. I'll show you how you can build expressions to perform regression using multiple variables for better predictive modeling. And then I'll also demonstrate how you can begin to test and analyze the model that you put together. To show you how this all works, I'll first open up Tableau and start a new worksheet. I'm connected to Tableau's Superstore sample data, and I've actually added in some extra customer information for use in this demonstration, so I've just joined that in with my overall orders table. Now, I've already created a calculated field called predicted sales within my data source, so I'll open up that calculation and I'll show it to you now. I'm using the script real function here, which will pass my R script from Tableau back to R and then return real numbers as a result. I'm passing a basic linear regression back to R using sales as my dependent variable here, and then several customer inputs, including age, income, number of months as a customer, number of orders, and days since last order as my independent variables. This is a basic linear model, but I could expand on this, such as by converting my number of months as customer input from linear to logarithmic. To do that, I'll simply wrap that number of months as customer field in a log function. I also could utilize other models entirely if they happen to better fit my data. Now that I have my equation set, I can click OK and begin to do some analysis on my model. Let's say I want to use my prediction model based on customer variables to predict sales at a state level. I can pull state onto my rows, and then I can pull my sales measure over to my columns, and then I'll also bring my new predicted sales measure over to my columns. Now I have two bar charts, but I want to be able to compare these. So I'm going to switch this to dual axis, and then I'll synchronize my axes so that the scale is the same. My default here is showing each mark as a circle, but I'd rather see my sales figures as a bar, so I'll use my marks card to change my sales from a circle to a bar. And then lastly, I'd rather have coloring that corresponds to the variance between my actual sales and my predicted sales so that I can better highlight where there are differences. So I've created another calculated field here that calculates my prediction variance. In this case, my prediction variance is just a subtraction of my actual sales from my predicted sales. So I'll switch over to my predicted sales marks card and I'll pull prediction variance over onto my color. Based on this view, it looks like my model is okay at a state level. To better quantify my model accuracy, I'm gonna pull open a new worksheet and do a little bit more analysis. This time, rather than creating a bar chart, I'm gonna pull sales onto my x-axis and predicted sales onto my y-axis. I'm interested in my state level detail, so I'll pull state onto my marks card as the detail. And now initially, since my predicted sales is a table calculation, it's defaulting to calculating across my table. However, I actually want to calculate my predictions at the state level, so I'll adjust my predicted sales calculation to do just that. Now this looks a little bit more realistic, now I can utilize some of Tableau's native capability to get a better understanding of my model accuracy. I can right click and I can add in a trend line. I can bring region onto my colors and I can break out my model a bit further. I can also go back and change the level of detail that I'm looking at 
to see how accurate my model is for predicting sales against other dimensions, like product category or product subcategory. That concludes this demonstration on complex regression analysis in Tableau using R. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mayor.newton at thoroughgood.com. You can also visit our website at www.thoroughgood.com for more information about our company, our services, or our upcoming marketing events.